Hey, let's do some healing sounds, the six healing sounds from traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, and I'm going to be showing a little version of Montauk Chia. He's got a little bit different spin on it, but not too different. Uh, we'll have some hand movements or positions you can use. You can put your hands right at the top of your head and see if you can feel the sound coming up through this important area. Um, you can make very robust sounds and really resonate them in your body, especially resonate them in the space of these internal organs. You can make a subvocal sound, so just a more quiet sound. And you can just think about the sound as well, whatever you're comfortable with. And um, because you do it one way one time, you can do it another way another time. That seems the thing to do. So we're going to start with the lung. And the sound here is s like a snake. So your tongue's going to be just behind your front teeth. Uh, you could, it's also said that you can use the uh, sound say. Uh, I tend to not use that one. I like the s and again you can put your hands here. You can also bring your hands like this above and look up. So I'm going to be showing a version of the robust, the quieter, and then the imagined. Good. So you may notice when I am doing the non-vocal version, I'm still kind of participating. I'm just not making a sound. But I'm making the uh, shape with my mouth and my throat. So that um, helps you to engage with the purpose. So we go on to kidney. And the sound is like a blowing out of candles. So you see what I'm doing with my mouth? You want that kind of tunneled uh, uh, expression of, of air. You can do chew, chew. And this, uh, the movement, the position you're going to do is you're going to be leaning forward so that you can open up this area in your back where your kidneys are. And true, 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 true. So even if you're doing the non-vocal, express your breath anyway. Liver is up next. And what you're going to do with your hands is above your head. And you're going to look up. The sound is shh, shh, or shh, shh. So your tongue is going to be near your upper palate. So this is what differentiates it from the lung sound. The lung sound was just the S. This has got a little bit of a um, H, SH, SH. So we've got SH, 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 SH. So as you're stretching up, you stretch up 
through your rib cage and you kind of open up that area where your liver is. The next one is heart. And your hands are going to be similar. You're going to turn them over like this, up, and look up. Same thing. The sound here is ha, ha, or huh, huh, ha, ha, huh, huh. And we're going to finish up the five yin internal organs. These organs are the ones that generate and store the essential um, uh, ingredients, the essential substances in the body, the precious substances. And we're going to finish up with spleen. And you're going to make the sound who, who. So again, close to kidney, but not exactly the same. Again, uh, there's that um, WH sound. So the kidney was CH sound. This is more of a WH sound. Who or who, who. And what you're going to do is bring your hands in and just tuck them up under your ribs, um, kind of opening up this area. It opens up the rib cage in a different way. So the liver is on your right side, the spleen is on your left side. And who, 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 who. So those are the five zang or yin organs and we're doing these sounds to cultivate and condition these organs. Very important for a robust and longer life. And there's one sound left and this is one that's going to tie everything together and blend it in and help install these sounds. So this is for the triple warmer, the San Zhao, the three burning spaces, um, the three heaters. It's translated by several uh, phrases. And what that means is it's an organ without a form. And the torso is divided up into three energetic spaces, upper, middle, and lower. And this is how the various energies in the body um, process and distribute substances. So it's for the body as a whole. And what you're going to do is lay down flat on your back, palms up, and you're going to make the sound he or she. And as you do that, let it resonate through your body as a whole. He, he, she, she, she. And there you have the six healing sounds.